So uh, I kept you through the break because earlier we were talking about, you know, obviously hecklers behind the bench and Pat Bev and what, all the, you know, ugliness that occurred uh, last night in Indianapolis. You mentioned Robin Ficker which is a name mm -hmm. I am familiar with, and TJ, you are familiar mm -hmm. with, and yep. Brockman, some old school old heads school, are familiar with. Uh, and, right? I mean, a, a Washington-based yeah. heckler, and you said he had the book on you and others. Mm -hmm. What do you mean by the book? Can you explain to people? Because I, I want folks to understand in this day and age <laughs> of rabbit ears and players hearing stuff and getting angry about oh. it that that – this is like, you know, basically you, you're holding their beer basically from back in the day with Robin Ficker. So what, what's your best Robin Ficker story that he had the book on players? What do you mean by that? Well, it's a, it's a couple of things. Okay. For you remember when, um, what was the book Jordan had? The Jordan, no, the what Jordan, was it? Uh, yeah, the, the Jordan, Jordan Rules. Jordan Rules. Yeah. yeah, that was, so uh, that was the old. He was book. sitting behind the Chicago Bulls bench reading excerpts of that book saying to the Bulls, Bill Cartwright, reading where Michael Jordan said he didn't want to throw Bill the ball at the end of the game. I mean, just like going at him. Like, don't throw him the ball. He just, he, Bill can't compete in the fourth quarter. Michael doesn't want to throw you the ball. He's saying all this stuff, right? I mean, he would go and research. We're, <laughs> let me see, Quinn Buckner was our coach my second year. He's sitting right behind us. Mind you, too, he would wear some Timberlands and stomp. He's sitting there and said, don't listen to him. Quinn trying to draw a play. He doesn't know what he's talking about. <laughs> he's from India. He wants to run the train. He said, listen, he had a sign up there. And it's, it had Emmy, yeah, Emmy Axon, Amal Mashburn, and Ace and Kid. No he said, the problem is none of you guys got any J's. <laughs> no <J> <laughs> Oh, he he would See, he that was, was clever. Anything I, mean, I know, it's cle he had clever stuff. Smart. He had factual stuff, and then sometimes it got to a point as a player, bro. You couldn't even you couldn't even be mad anymore. <laughs> you just laugh because you look forward. You hated it at first when you went to Washington. But then you look forward to like, man, what he got for us today. <laughs> okay. Fortunately for us, you know, in the Western Conference, you only went once. Right. Sure. Your Eastern Conference team, you went twice, so you got it. But man, I tell you, when you came from the West and he knew you only were there one time, man, he would come with some stuff. Man, he 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 talks some. Oh my God! But I, I, it was it was, and he he was an attorney. Yeah. Keep in mind, this wasn't just like a rabbit fan that was unintelligent and just was at the game. This was an attorney. That, that, he would do his research. That, was, that means he must have had a staff. You know what I mean? He could have had a staff, like, you know, working on this sort of Great stuff. Point. You know, he could have had people give him his material yeah, he, for yeah, going up peeps. to the games. His, uh, peeps, his peeps worked on it. Man. Different they, times. And they uh, said he never cursed at the players. Well, that's, just, obviously, that's a different no, 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 no. day and age. You just know? was really smart with I know, it. Was some people that were cursing. Now, don't, don't get that back okay. there. But, <laughs> but, but, you know, but he was... It's funny because when he got in some personal problems is when they took his tickets mm. from what I remember. And that's when he was removed from the stadium or the arena. But up until that point, he and my guy from Cleveland and Detroit, they were more, more so just like Clipper Dan. I mean, Clipper Darryl. Clipper Dan? Clipper Darryl. 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 Clipper yeah. Darryl. Yeah, yeah. They're encouraged to come because the fans get behind them. Mm -hmm. And they're they're great because they're not crossing the line. They're up to the line, but they don't. I, I don't think Robert has ever said anything or those guys anything racial or anything negative like that. Right. Different. But they get on you. That's a whole different thing. So they were encouraged, and, you know, the, the organizations didn't do anything about that, you know, because that was a part of their home court advantage, having those gentlemen be a part of their crowd and be a part of their fan base. Different time. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free.